Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part two of our video series explaining how to give flushometer valves a proper fixture unit value according to the Uniform Plumbing Code. In this video, we will be looking at water closets and urinals. We will draw in some simple piping schematics. We will use Table 610.10 to give those flushometer valves fixture units and then we'll add the fixture units up and label each pipe segment properly. Applying Table 610.10 We'll start simple with one water closet flushometer valve and only one pipe serving that valve. According to the table, if we have one water closet flushometer valve that valve needs to be given a value of 40 fixture units. So what we do is we write 40 near the, the flush valve. The water piping serving that flush valve has an accumulative value of 40 fixture units according to the table. So the piping would also have 40 fixture units on it. So if we were sizing that pipe, we would size that branch for 40 water supply fixture units. If we add a second water closet flush valve, using table 610.10 for two flush valves, the most remote flush valve will be given a value of 40, and then the second most remote will be given a value of 30. So we label them 40, 30. When we go to giving fixture unit values for the pipe segments, the pipe segment serving the most remote flush valve will be assigned 40 fixture units. And then working to the uh, right, we pick up the second flush valve which we've labeled a 30 and that gives us a total of 70 fixture units and we compare that to the table the accumulative value for two water closet flush valves should be 70 fixture units and we would size that branch for 70 water supply fixture units If we have three water closet flush valves, we use the decreasing scale from table 610.10. The most remote flush valve will be a 40. The next one in line will be a 30. And the third will be 20. Giving fixture unit totals for every pipe segment, the far left will be 40. It only serves that single water closet flush valve that we labeled 40. Working to the right, we pick up a second water closet which is labeled 30. So we'll have 70 fixture units at that point. And then we pick up the third flush valve which is labeled 20. And that gives us a total of 90 fixture units we would size that branch for 90 water supply fixture units. If we compare this on the next slide, we'll see that table 610.10 agrees. So three water closet flush valves. We use the sequence 40, 30, 20. The table says that the accumulative values for those three flush valves should be 90 fixture units. Moving on to four water closet flush valves. We use the same decreasing scale that we always do. So 40, 30, 20, 15. Going back and doing the pipe segments, it'll be 40, 70, 90, and 105. 
we would size the branch for 105 water supply fixture units. Finally, if we have five water closet flush valves, we still use the same decreasing scale, starting with 40, then 30, 20, 15, 10. Going back to do the pipe segments, will be 40 plus 30 gives us 70, plus 20 gives 90, plus 15 puts us at 105, plus the last one, which is a 10, gives us 115. So that water pipe branch would be sized for 115 water supply fixture units. Now looking at urinal flush valves, if we have a single urinal with a flushometer valve, according to the table for the category of urinals with flush valves, we see that one urinal flushometer valve will be given a value of 20 fixture units. So we write 20 near the flush valve. And then the accumulative value would be 20. And the pipe serving that flush valve would be sized for 20 water supply fixture units. If we have two urinal flush valves, finding two for the number of flush valves on table 610.10, .10, the most remote will, will be a 20, the second most remote will be 15. We label those flush valves 20, 15, and then we give values to the pipe segments. So we'll start with 20 plus 15 equals 35. So the table agrees. The cumulative values for two flush valves serving urinals would be 35 fixture units. And we size the branch for 35 water supply fixture units. If we have three urinal flush valves, same sequence, starting with 20, then 15, the third one is a 10. The water pipe segments will be 20, plus 15 equals 35, plus 10 equals 45. We size the branch, serving three urinal flush valves for 45 water supply fixture units. If we have four urinal flush valves, we still start at 20. The next one, 15, 10. The fourth one will be 8. Going back to the pipe segments, 20, 35, 45, and 53. That water pipe branch would be sized for 53 water supply fixture units. And then finally, five urinal flush valves. Same decreasing scale starting with 20. Next one is 15. The third is a 10. And then an 8. And finally, the fifth one is a 5. Going back to do the pipe segments, Start with 20, add 15 equals 35, add 10 equals 45, add 8 equals 53, add 5 equals 58. That branch would be sized for 58 water supply fixture units. That concludes part two 
of our video series for flushometer valves. Very similar to part one, um, we used table 610.10, took the information from the table, applied it to some very simple branch piping schematics. Uh, we did um, water closet separately. We did urinal separately. Um, like I said, very similar to part one, but just putting the information into a picture form. And hopefully that helps. So in part three, we'll take all the information from part one and part two. We'll apply it to multi-story buildings. So we have multiple branches. At that point, we'll actually see where fixture unit values can change to lower numbers. And we'll also mix the two categories together. So we'll have water closets and urinals on the same floor, on the same branch. And we'll see how we apply the information from table 610.10. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you in part three.